I've chosen the apprenticeship as I'm not a textbook student. I like being very hands-on. I like the technical side of science. And my course that I also do on the side helps me get ready for the real world. I have started the apprenticeship in semiconductor physics and I've moved across in the department to physics of medicine to allow me to see different perspectives of different scientists and researchers. I'm more of a biologist than a physicist, so having that change but still being able to be in a physics department allows me to see all kinds of perspectives and work with all sorts of students, different types of staff, research staff, and it just allows me to see it from everyone's perspective as the apprentice. In the class, at the moment, I'm studying a level three applied science course, which begins with basics of all of the sciences, biology, chemistry, and physics, to more intense hands-on biological techniques and chemical, of course. So after I finish my course, uh, I would like to move on to more technician stuff. That's where the apprenticeship is perfect for me as my learning side allows me to put it onto actual perspective and actual doing of stuff and experiments and aid in the researchers work. So um, the idea of me being in the physics of medicine is that I'm available to help any kind of groups that need a hand. Um, at the moment I'm working with a dual gradient project as I'll be a part of it um, across the summer. However, if anyone else needs a hand with, for example, a biological cabinet, uh, any kind of autoclaving disposal, um, liquid nitrogen, anything, I'm more than happy to help and I'm always available for them. Keeping the balance between the studies and the actual work is so much easier than it looks when you've got supportive team members. So my manager and my team member that I share an office with are excellent and they are more than happy to support me with my studies. I've started doing four days at work and one day studies, which is Wednesday. I am studying a level three applied science course with a online provider who also provides me with the hands-on technical side of it, where I'm invited to go to Birmingham to perform my experiments. And then I'm writing the lab reports regarding those, which then corresponds to what I do at work as well. I think the top three benefits of the apprenticeship is that you can create your own professional links with so many different people, so many different researchers. It's such a welcoming environment that you are able to just walk in and feel like you belong. Next steps for me, I think, is um, to complete my level three course. The level three course takes about two years and considering I've started last September, um, already a year in, after that I haven't possible way to start a level four or level five apprenticeship as well. So it'll be on the same contract that I'm on, which is a three year contract, but I will be able to study further in to get more qualifications, which the department provides for me. To someone thinking about an apprenticeship, I would say just do it. It's a great opportunity and it's very beneficial and very open for all sorts of people. You don't have to look like a certain type of person to start it. Just go in, do what you do best and just have fun. <laughs>